Uh, now, it was Mother's Day. It uh, was. The weekend. Did yes. you have a good Mother's Day? Great. My first uh, grandmother's day. Yes, that's right. And I was with my daughter and her yes. baby. And her baby, Marlo, is just wild and kick ass little girl. She's nine months old, and we had a good day. I'd just flown in so, to be with her, and uh, yeah, it was. Super. Are you enjoying being a grandmother? Uh, so much easier. Because you can go. So much easier. <laughs> because you can go, oh, this is great. See you later. Yeah. Have a good night's sleep. <laughs> no. But also, you're just your anxiety level. You're just not that responsible. I mean, you know, <laughs> I, I catch, I caught her, which is so much easier than pushing one out. What do you mean? Yeah. I was there for the birth. Uh, she had a 36 hour home birth. And yeah, I know. It was like, a National Geographic special of some sort. Right. And the baby. You caught, you caught I the baby. I was there, and then we put it on her stomach, and she crawled to the breast. Did you know that a baby could do that? I didn't. I had mine, a couple of mine naturally, and then the third one, I was like, why am I doing this? This is crazy. <laughs> yeah. And I went to drugs. But um, <laughs> she, you no, know, was fabulous. And she's very, you know, she's a really good mother, and she's so responsible and figures everything out, and you can just kind of watch and just go, yeah, it's not my problem. That's Jill, yeah, whatever. <laughs> so it's so much more fun. You're, you don't worry if their stages of development are happening on time or anything. You're like, she's hilarious. Leave her alone. But also, you don't worry anyway, because uh, like my, our son, my son Max, was uh, he was like a bum shuffler for quite a long oh, time. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And, uh, and one of the mums, this is when we were back home, when he was, he was like, one of the other mums when we were taking him to nursery was like, are you worried about him? I was like, no. He'll learn to walk. I don't imagine I'll be dropping him at college going, <laughs> see you later, buddy. And he's like, yeah, having a great one, Dad. Like, he'll get the there. Same thing with potty training. They yeah. always say, don't worry, eventually. Well, this you know, is they all don't very. Yeah. Well, this is all very useful because I don't know if people know that Brooklyn and her husband, Andy Roddick, are expecting child. Yes. There. Halfway point. You're over the halfway point. Yes. This is so exciting. How are you yes. feeling? I'm feeling great. I'm learning that drugs apparently are the way to go and that a baby <laughs> crawls to the boob. Did not know that. I didn't know there was a thing called bum crawling. Yeah, well, you're about to <laughs> so learn I'm all learning. of these things. Yeah, I'm learning Burping, everything. everything. Right now, right yeah. here. Thank you. Guys. Yeah, and uh, have, you, have you thought about any names for said child? We have been given some advice uh, by actually a fellow Englishman of yours. Mr. Sir Elton John. Yes. Recently, my husband has a foundation, and, 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 and Elton came to play. His foundation, which is pretty incredible, was giving us advice. Basically, Elton, any name from Lord of the Rings. Right. And anything that starts with an R, just so the child has a difficult, difficult time kind of pronouncing their own name. Right. So basically, he wants to make this kid's life a living hell, which is fine with me, because that's what they're there for, to mess with, so we'll see. <laughs> right? I mean, you, I you, already have, right. You, you already have some interesting names for your dogs. Your dogs are called you. Billie Jean King and Bob Costas. Yes, they are. Are your dogs, are you gonna keep this sporting theme going for your child, do you think? Potentially, just pick sort of the athlete that's in trouble, like this week could be Tom Brady. Yeah. Formerly like Brett Favre. I mean, I love Tom, it's okay, guys. I mean, I guess if you are gonna have a sporting theme, you could just call him Andy Roddick. I could just, right, yeah. which sort of takes away from it. So I don't know, we're, maybe we'll get creative, I think you we'll see. meet the baby. That's, That's my, because sometimes yeah. you have these names and then you meet them and they're like, no. You're course, absolutely right. right. We were gonna call our son, we always thought, we didn't find out the sex and we always thought if it was a boy, we'll call him Louis. And we called him Louis for like a day and it just didn't work and we yeah, changed yeah. to Max. Yeah, 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 yeah. Did you have to change the birth certificate? No, we hadn't made it by that point. Got it, we got it, just, got it. I yeah. left the hospital with one of mine without a name. I kind of like that. You don't make them, don't let them push you around. Get you to know, know them a little bit. <laughs> I like it. It's a little more complicated when you don't do it exactly by the rules, but it sure. works out in the end. You're like, yeah. name it. Oh, the kid I feel like me. that might be your metaphor for life. <laughs> right. I'd be happy to embrace that. Actually. Yeah, it's yeah. Good. it doesn't matter yeah. if it were. Mess around Call with her it. outside the lines. That's yeah. what I, like I say.